Hello friend, this is Sadil Chaudhary and welcome to my channel The Battle Bond Sadil. Today is the first series of my YouTube channel and today I am going to discuss regarding the ABCs of bodybuilding. So let's start. Sport versus exercise system. Bodybuilding as a system of exercise is the most effective and efficient way to strengthen and developing the muscle of the body. Some think bodybuilding is only an intense form of competition but not a sport. However, I think bodybuilding qualifies as a sport for a number of reasons. One is the incredible amount of athletic involvement in training and developing the physique to prepare it for competition. Another is the high level of athletic demand involved in the performance part of bodybuilding that is posing and flexing on stage. As we will go into more detail later, to be able to pose during a contest, to squeeze and flex your muscle, be able to hold pose for such as an hour or more at a time and to do it really well with high energy levels and to full control your entire body the whole time is an athletic feat comparable to a boxer going 12 round for the heavyweight championship of the world. One reason people have trouble understanding the nature of bodybuilding is that there are two basic kind of sport. Those who judge by measurement like how far, how fast, how high and so forth. And those judged by the form like diving, gymnastic, ice skiing. But bodybuilding is a sport of form. But instead of the movement from the involved is that the body itself. The size, the proportion, the details and the aesthetic quality physique as developed in the gym, prepared by dieting and displaying the performance of bodybuilding poses. In any event, although bodybuilding has not yet become an Olympic sport, it has accepted by the international amateur sports community and been included in events as the Asian Games and Pan American Games. So I am not alone in my opinion that bodybuilding is a sport. Now I am going to discuss regarding the progressive resistance training. Of course, the majority of people who train with weights are never going to compete just as most people who play tennis or golf don't expect to ent enter Wimbledon or Masters Invitational. But whether you bodybuild with the aim of sculpting a competition physique or are training to improve your performance at sports, to be healthy and fit, to look feel good, better or to rehabilitate and injury. All muscle building done correctly depends it for your result on the time basic exercise principles at uh, that of progressive resistance training. But the progressive resistance training works because the body is designed to adapt and grow stronger in response to greater amount of stress than it is used to. If you are used to running 2 miles a day, then running 5 miles put demand on your muscle and the ability of your cardiovascular system to supply enough oxygen and nutrition to keep your muscle functioning running for 2 miles. But you have to get in better shape to run 5 miles. Improving your muscle condition in this case is a matter of increasing how far and how run and giving the body time to change and adapt this to increase. When it comes to muscle building, the same principle applies. The muscle building are adapted to dealing with a certain amount of demand specifically to a certain amount of weight in your exercises lifted with a certain degree or intensity. When you increase the amount of weight or intensity, your muscle have to become bigger and stronger to deal it with. Once of the weight and intensity of your workout so that they will continue to get bigger and stronger. In other words, you progressively increase the demands of your muscle and muscle to grow over the time. 
but not every kind of training you do with weight is going to end up creating a bodybuilding physique you have to do the right kind of exercises using the right techniques so that you can send a specific message to the nervous system that tells the body what kind of adaptation you wish to achieve that is called the specificity of training and that is why learning how to train right way is so important i like to compare this with working on a computer anyone who has used a computer for a length of time has probably had the experience of the machine not doing what you wanted to expect it to do you try over and over at the same times and the same thing happen you figure there is something wrong with the machine or the software then you realize you made a very small mistake maybe just putting a period where you should put a semicolon but the computer can't think it just follow your instructions so if you aren't very specific in what you tell it to do you are in trouble the computer doesn't know what you think you are telling it to do and only you are actually telling it to do but bodybuilding is based on the same principle the body doesn't know what you think and what you are telling it to do it just registers and adapts the same specific instructions you are giving it to by the way you are working out you may feel uh, you are building muscle you can work hard sweating and getting tired and sore but unless you are sending the right code to the body you are going to be very disappointed with your results and the code is the case is a correct understanding of the principle of progressive resistance training i hope you all like this video very much and stay tuned for the next episode of abc of bodybuilding where i am going to discuss regarding other few topics regarding this subject uh, till now stay tuned stay well have a safe life goodbye